Well, still on independence as a country prepares to mark 47 years of independence, a former parliamentarian is reflecting on the role he played in helping to make that a reality. Vern Carey reports. It was back in 1972 when former parliamentarian Philip Bethel went to London, England as part of an official delegation charged with ironing out the kings in a document called the White Paper that would later become the constitution of an independent Bahamas a year later. That historic task came on the heels of the 1972 general elections, which was won by the Progressive Liberal Party on a platform dominated by the importance of the Bahamas becoming an independent nation. With so much at stake, members of the bipartisan delegation, led by then Prime Minister Lyndon Pinling, were in high spirits as they touched down in London, united in a common purpose. I was elated because out of the number of members of parliament that, that were elected, I was one of the uh, youngest members of parliament. We left here um, in a very uh, positive mood, knowing that when we return, we would return with what we needed, what, we, what the people had voted for, and then to begin uh, the, 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 the creation and the building of a new Bahamas. As the historic conference began, Bethel says there is one moment which still resonates. And the conference began, uh, which was chaired by a Lord Balneal. In the delegation, one of the leading persons were Milo Butler, who uh, was a giant of a man, and he said, do respect, my Lord, Lord Balneal, we're from the Bahamas, and being a Christian nation, whatever we do, uh, we begin with prayer. Every session after that, when we met, we began with prayer. That in itself, I believe, um, still should be one of the main focus in whatever we do in our country. Too. He highlighted some of the main issues in the white paper, which would become the constitution of the Bahamas. In that paper, it, it contained the main planks of what um, the Bahamas constitution would um, consist of uh, and um, what would be the, 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 the main objective of the, um, the document known as um, the Constitution of the Bahamas, the rights of citizens, non-citizens, etc. These age of um, planks had to be ironed out with the British government. Remember, we was a subject. We was a colony of, the, of Great Britain. It's been more than four decades since the independence delegation went to England, and time has laid claim to the majority of its members. Out of the 16, I think there's only five or six of us who are still alive. Uh, Sir Arthur um, Fuchs, Sir Arthur Hannah, Sir Orville Turnquest, uh, the Honorable Loftus Rooker, the Honorable George Smith, and myself. The rest of them have departed and gone on to their reward. As the country celebrates its 47th anniversary of independence, Bethel is encouraging present and future Bahamians to build on the foundation that was laid by our founding fathers. Fern Carey, ZNS Network News.